the 4th, 2016. The sky in Canada's Fort McMurray resembled a wall of fire and smoke as a mammoth fiery inferno swallowed parts of the Canadian city. Authorities ordered the evacuation of nearly 100,000 people, enforcing the evacuation of the entire city of Fort McMurray. The city was reportedly burned in apocalyptic proportions and deadly as a result. Residents said they have lost everything they've ever owned, and firefighters say at this point, only a change in weather can save them. The place has since grown eight times its initial size, going from 25,000 acres to 210,000 acres in just 24 hours, making the fire larger than the city of Chicago. The fire is so ablaze the officials reported that it began creating its own weather, high winds and even lightning could be seen inside the smoke clouds created from the blaze. John 1319. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. He is the answer, the way, and the truth, and the life. There is no other name on this land can be saved, but by the name of Jesus. Brother is coming. You've got to repent and receive Jesus. Prophecy, A.D. 50 to 70, Revelation 18, verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Verse 8. And the kings of the earth, who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. May the 9th, 2016. A German man went on a deadly stabbing spree, stabbing several people at a train station near Munich in Germany. Authorities said, proving fatal, several others were also wounded and the man has been arrested. John 13, 19. Now I tell you before it come, that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. The Lord is revealing a major train tragedy in Germany. It is wise for all personnel in the trains and passengers in Germany to take precaution where possible. My kindly to repent of our sins and turn to Jesus Christ, God Almighty, for eternal salvation, the only one who can credibly reveal things to come. The Harvest Army Church International presents Pearls of Prophecy, a prophetic masterpiece with over 200 scriptural guidelines on how to prophesy accurately, without failure. Prophecy being the final magnet of the gospel reveals God's will for mankind. Between the covers of this priceless pearl, you will get into the depths of the prophetic, from the reasons to prophesy, to how to receive the gift and gripping fulfillment. Prophecy, August 9th, Prophecy. Prophecy. May 10th, January 25, 2015. In a vision. In a vision. Revelation, March 9th, 2014. The Lord reveals a major explosion in China. August the 12th, 2015. A massive explosion hit a dangerous goods warehouse in China. Revelation, March 1st, 2015. In the spirit, the following words are heard. France will come under attack. August 22nd, 2015. An attack on France was foiled in Paris, when a Moroccan terrorist armed with an AK-47, a pistol and a knife opened fire on a train injuring several on board. Folks, Ebola! This warning came from the Lord. 
and came through prophecies that were prophesied on television to the world in New York City, they were warned at least, to Harvest Army Church International. Prophecy, December 8, 2013. In a dream, a, dread, a dreadful disease or plague arises from a bird-like creature or bat. It begins in the northern hemisphere of the earth, then spreads to Africa where it does much damage. Scientists have found evidence of the African Ebola virus in Asian fruit bats, suggesting that the virus is far more widespread around the world than had been previously known. Pearls of Prophecy is now available at HarvestArmy.org, Amazon and Zulonvest.com. Get your copy today. Join us for World Vision Day, the All Nations Effect. July the 2nd, 2016. At 12 noon, on one day, for one hour, with one voice. On one accord. To the wind gospel, preach the gospel. Worldwide, in every country. Rise up and declare Jesus Christ, his return and the forgiveness of sin. Challenge people put their faith in Jesus Christ. No Christian left behind. July the 2nd, 12 noon. Touching every continent, blazing in over 100 countries, impacting lives. This is Christ has changed my life. It's World Vision Day. This isn't just a good idea. No, this is a Holy Ghost God idea. And it's not going to die. It's not a fad. It's not something that just started. No, this is going to shake the world. Many have even testified of a type of Pentecostal outpouring, prophesying as they were out. Is your name Kevin? You know somebody yes. named... Your name is Kevin? That was the word of knowledge. Wow. Now, how did I know that? God. That's the Holy Spirit. Featured in Charisma Magazine, the largest Christian magazine worldwide, Love Express News announces World Vision Day at a city near you. Go out, go and preach the gospel for World Vision Day. With the participation of former popular NBA player, coach commentator Pastor Mark Jackson, with his church True Love Fellowship. Visit worldvisionday.org and enlist today. To turn from sin! It is your day. If we can do it, if these kids can do it, you can do it. In 2003, Harvest Army Church International prophesied that Falmouth would become a city, an important city, and advance economically in a dramatic way, with visitors from all over the world. It was right at this part of ground when Harvest Army Church International having a mass oatmeal crusade when a prophecy was released that this Angman town will become the next city. Fulfillment. By 2005, the town of Falmouth was declared a city by the United Nations. In 2010, the city became the deepest port in the Caribbean, and is the only port in the Caribbean that docks the largest ships in the world. From Frankfurt, Germany. Yeah, we are in honeymoon. Yes. And we can see where the development is here. We can also see the pier. Europe, from England, from America, from all the 
continents in the world. We enjoy Jamaica. Yes. We had a lot of fun in Jamaica. And here we have a witness that was present at the time that the prophecy was spoken. Um, we have Bishop Ferrin here and it will tell us, you know, what happened um, during that time when the prophecy was given for Falmouth City. I have a street meeting right in Falmouth at Credit Union Bank. I remember that uh, Bishop King Collins, he, he prophesied about Falmouth. He said that Falmouth will be a great city, that Falmouth um, will be developed and uh, you know people come from all over the world to visit Falmouth. You know, when he, when he speak those words, a lot of people stand there and they were asking the question, this could never happen. In the late 1800s, following the demise of sugar as a globally lucrative agricultural product, Falmouth began a steady decline in importance, and soon the harbour, which once welcomed close to 30 ships in one day, saw few of them that in a month buildings and homes began to deteriorate and its once polished look became marred by poverty, stained with the gloomy skies of a memory and time. Can you describe what's happening in Falmouth right now? Tourists come from all over the world, so Falmouth is very, Falmouth developed. Okay. A lot of business because you see, Falmouth almost turned a, a merchandise town now. Okay. Because you have a, a, a lot of business in Falmouth, okay. you know, so, so, so you can see that. Hamut more attractive now, and but what we glad for, we glad for the prophecy. The prophecy. Yeah, we glad for the prophecy. Yes. You know to know that, to know that is a is a man who born and grow. Yes. In Falmouth. Yes. Born born in, in born born in Falmouth, and him can come back and, and prophesy about it. He really happy about it. You know what I'm saying? It's every weekend Miss Collins normally come have a meeting nice here. Right beside where we sell it, man. Remember the big mass meeting, the man. You understand me? Uh, the biggest meeting not ever keep, really, uptown. That was the biggest meeting ever keep uptown, really. You understand me? Right, because I can remember the night. It's like, you know, bring out all the equipment from down at the church. None probably never left down there. Remember, you know, when I, when I preach it, but the, 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 the young man town business, man, and this town are going to change from where it is. And, be a city one day. I say, my dad will fit that still. The only part changes, you mean? I mean, they tell us right now, we see where Falmouth are getting more housing scheme, we get cheap peer. You yes. understand me? We get cheap peer. People are from all India now, they come there, you know, right now, on the peer. A peer Indian, you know? I don't know one people. I mean, people are from all over the world, man. You know, man. Germany, France, Switzerland, America, Canada, all over, you know? You've been peer. You know, that's the greatest thing, man. The prophecy is still not wrong because it won't change drastically a whole lot. You understand? Me? Yeah, man, it won't change a whole lot. Even at the square where Peter used to drive, it's now a park. I couldn't, I couldn't dream that would happen. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, I couldn't dream that would happen. Water spray. There's no more driving in it. It's all walking and sitting down and all them something they look at picnic can play. I do want to look up park we have. I give a thanks. As I say, most likely the prophecy has come true already. We're standing in the middle of the field of Jelani, the biggest stadium. And found with Jelani. The proper stadium was opened in the year 2007 and it was a capacity of 13,000 people. Uh, we occasionally have um, different cricket competitions, training, training sessions as it is required, you know. I want to welcome all the socialites to the new stadium here in Greenfield in Trelawney, the new home of the Jamaica Jazz and Blues Festival. 
this venue is going to be amazing once you get here and see it. And you'll you'll see that um, our move was a, was a good one, and that um, everybody coming to the festival now can you know be comfortable, great parking, you know, great food court, all the things that you come you become accustomed to over the years with Jamaica Jazz and Blues. The location here is really good. The venue is extremely good, my friend. Trelawney is our new location, the new tourist destination. I can recall um, Sister Collins uh, was a very instrumental person, very spiritual person, have a lot of um, road meeting, you call it, you see it. And um, she always preach about Falmouth and what she would really want Falmouth to be, you know, and with Devon and been there and they prophesy what Falmouth would be and what they want Falmouth to be. And fortunately, I become simply when Falmouth was actually going down, burnt out. When did you become mayor, sir? Um, 2003. I was able to move those burnt down buildings. I was able to clear the black trees, all the streetlights that were not working. I um, put them Prepared. I was very instrumental in um, having the, the, the police station, the hospital repair. Today's sermon, Sword of the Saints, Part 4 and Final. The blood! The blood! The blood is against you devils and demons and strongholds. We shabba! The blood! The blood! The blood! The blood! Go ahead! Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Unclean! Hey! Stand up there. Keep standing in the Holy Ghost. Keep standing in the Holy Ghost. Keep standing in the Holy Ghost. Yeah! Trouble on the planet, Rakashatanaba. He only give me power to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions and over all the power of my enemy. Church arise, church arise, army arise, underground, army of God, arise, arise. Arise, arise, and read the sword. The spirit 
of the Lord number two number three the scripture number four the symbols number five the signs number six the sacrifice and number seven the stones the stones the stones are the stones of memory that Joshua left in the middle of Jordan after he crossed is the testimony that you have when he heal you of cancer hallelujah it's a testimony that you have when you could not pay the house bill and on the last moment jesus deliver you you destroy the devil by the way of your testimony this is a sword that's why the bible says in the days of trouble remember the right hand of God remember the blessings remember the miracles remember the testimonies and it will cancel Satan it will invalidate Satan because it's the sword of the saints so help me out I'll give you seven so far I only have one more the sword of the saints number one the story of Jesus number two the spirit of the Lord number three the scripture number four the symbols number five the signs number six the sacrifice number seven the stones and finally number eight it's one kind of technical but you gotta get it because you can't fight for yourself only with all the power upon you you have the world to fight for you have your brothers in iraq to fight for you have your brothers in iran to fight for you have your brothers in pakistan to fight for so god give you another sword it's a world sword the bible said the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the lord as the waters cover the sea for god so loved it that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him will not perish god give you an anointing to travel to any country come on somebody and preach what they can preach come on somebody and it's a scope it's the sword hallelujah 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 jesus lift your hands everyone right now lift your hands everyone right now. say after me if you can in the name of jesus i receive the sword from the lord upon my life in the name of Jesus I confess every sin in the name of Jesus I cast out every blood out of my life in the name of Jesus I expel the sword of man and the sword of the flesh and I receive the sword of the spirit I receive the sword of God I receive the sword of the saints upon my life Lord for I am a believer I am a believer I am a saint of God so this night God in the name of Jesus I receive lift up your voice i receive i receive in the name of jesus i receive the sword of the saints give me praise give me praise
If you have been blessed by today's message and what God has been doing through this ministry, we ask that you support and help us to spread this vision throughout the world. The Bible says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. God is magnifying His word through prophecy, and many atheists, religions, and non-believers are beginning to take notice. Your generous contribution will help save and change lives. The impact of your seed may save a generation. For God's revival has truly come upon the earth. So call today and make a tangible donation with the assurance that your seed will restore lives throughout the ends of the earth. Call 718-696-2769. That's 718-696-2769. Or you can visit us at harvestarmy.org slash give. Give your seed, throw out the lifeline, and don't let another soul slip away. Every day, God speaks to vessels around the world to prophesy and prove Him as God. But many times, those vessels are not the popular names of Christian ministry. God said in His Word that He would prove Himself through prophecies and revelations, not only from the Bible, but also speaking through His servants. On HarvestArmy.org, prophecies and revelations are posted almost every day and are fulfilled in due time. It is our responsibility as Christians to listen for the voice of God. The Bible says not to be ignorant of the devil's devices and plans. We encourage you to check the updates on our revelations page every day. The website is www.HarvestArmy.org. That's www.HarvestArmy.org. Don't make fulfillment of prophecy be a surprise to you.